This bike, because of the length of the front end and the way it's raked, you have to make a reservation to make a turn. And making a reservation to make a turn is like one, two, okay, make my turn. Part of the charm of riding a hardtail is there's no shocks and you really feel it. I mean, you know, after a long day of riding, you know you've been riding. Like this in the film, part of the pivotal, one of the climatic scenes is they do their deal and they put the money inside the gas tank in a, in a rubber tube. It's gonna, go, it's gonna roll by itself pretty much at this point. Dad, I don't think I need Viagra right now. That's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. This is the most famous motorcycle in the world. It's not like it's one of them, it's the most famous motorcycle. Dan Haggerty, Mr. Grizzly Adams, was the motorcycle wrangler hired by Peter Fonda to take care of the bikes. So at the end of the filming, Peter gave Dan Haggerty this motorcycle. The other motorcycle, legend goes, was stolen out of a garage in the valley and cut to pieces in a chop shop. Now there's a rumor that these stars on the original motorcycle were cut off and he Hell's Angels members held them on their jackets as a symbol of getting a piece of this bike. So the best we know, the other motorcycle is gone, chopped to pieces. These motorcycles were designed and built in a time when just the beginnings of the chopper craze started to take off. These are really one of a kind pieces of art that were replicated the style of the raked front end with no front brake. We, this, we swing this thing, this 1,200 pounds beast machine. Okay. More? Yeah,